All right, Org Gaming's next exotic review will be the Vigilance Wing. Because, hey, the last one got more than 10, which means there was someone else that watched it. So, you know, it's Vigilance Wing, if you haven't seen it. It's the cool golden one. Looks all like Anubis-y. Looks like if the new uh, Assassin's Creed Origins dude had a gun, he would have the Vigilance Wing. Um, that would be kind of overpowered, though. Huh? Anyway, what's the, uh, what are the perks for it? Well, it's intrinsic golden circled perk. It's harsh truths. Uh, this weapon fires a five round burst and when your allies suck and they die you get health regen and movement speed so for all of you who complain about being on a team with bad people who don't do team things like to die a lot it's the perfect weapon for you but uh team stuff so the next perk uh corkscrew rifling uh, you can't really change it, so it doesn't really matter, but it does give you more range and stability. But again, you can't change it. Next one is the Alloy Magazine, um, which means you reload faster when the mag is empty. Um, personally, I really don't use this perk all that much. Uh, I like to reload after a kill, and you get 50 bullets in the mag, so that's, that's a good 10, 10 shots, because, you know, it fires 5-round burst. Usually it only takes 2 or 3 shots to kill, 2 or 3 rounds. Um... I should, I should rephrase that. Doesn't use rounds. Bursts? Takes two or three bursts. That's a better better view words. You takes two or three bursts to kill. Um so you only down like fifteen ish bullets. You can just reload that. Um and it's just better to go into an engagement with a full magazine as opposed to going into a gate an engagement with like two bullets left. And you're like, ah oh, man, I'm gonna get killed now because I have to reload. The next perk is its other cool perk, its other magic perk um, that actually like does something in my opinion. Uh, so you get last stand, uh, you get improved weapon performance uh, when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. So again, if you got a really crappy team, you can uh, you can still clutch it, which is cool. And the final one is composite stock. Uh, which just increases your stability and handling speed. And again, you can't change it, so it's pretty much just how the weapon is. Now that we've looked at all of our perks, let's look at how this weapon stacks up in the field and against people who are way better than me at Crucible. This weapon is not really made for the PvE environment, so it's a lot easier to explain how good it is. So, um, kind of a quick summary synopsis. Um, not that great. It, uh, you know, it puts out decent damage, but... It takes up an exotic slot that could be filled with something that does a lot more damage a lot quicker. We could have Cold Heart, Merciless, even Wardcliff Coil in, you know, your heavy or special slot, or I guess energy weapon slot now, which would do a lot more damage, out damage it by far. You could have something like a Actium War Rig sweet business deal going on, and way out damage it. But at the same time, it it's a fun gun to play around with. You can, you know, run around and if one of your friends who really sucks at the game dies. You know, you get a little boost. And if your whole fire team dies and you're in a nightfall, if you're doing like the easy mode, um, you could probably just like kill a couple of guys, run around, pick them up. Again, the bonuses that it gives don't really matter as much in an environment like PvE. Uh, you know, oh, you get a little health boost, that's good, but handling and stuff like that in a PvE environment is not as useful as it is in PvP. Turns out bad guys uh, who are controlled by computers tend to miss a little bit more, who's kind of just like, you know, they're, they're cannon fodder. They're there to be shot a lot. I mean, you know, they're not the ones raging at Bungie because Mida has high caliber rounds. That would be funny, though. Just imagine, like, a little acolyte, just like, Oh, I can't believe they have high-caliber rounds on these stupid guns. It's flinching my, like, terrible aim. I mean, I can't shoot anything with this stupid blaster anyway, but hey, high-caliber is a problem. Uh, that being said, uh, high-caliber rounds do suck when you're playing in the Crucible. Just kind of a side note. That's, it's, it's not cool. Just don't use them. Don't be that guy. Just outplay. If 
by outplaying. Don't outplay by RNG flinching. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, back to the review. Uh, let's get into the bread and butter of this gun. PvP. It's made for it. I've been talking about how good it is in PvP. It's great. It's You can get outplayed. Don't get me wrong. You can get outplayed by any gun. You can get outplayed by like a hand cannon from a thousand miles away if you don't hit any shots. But it's a consistent weapon with predictable recoil and it shoots a five round burst which is quite good uh, because normally when it shoots a four round burst in previous destiny games they kind of nerf each bullet so it doesn't actually like it's not actually all that good it's the same thing as doing a three burst except for slower in this one though each bullet does the same amount of damage as it would i assume if it were a three round burst there's just two extra bullets which that's what makes it good fact that you can put out consistent fast damage in a short amount of time consistently it's the word of the day with this gun is consistency consistency good this is good good consistency yeah um that word has also now lost most of its meaning to me but on top of its good just all around stats it's also got its perks that Put in some work. Uh, you, you know, you got that harsh truths. Uh, every time a guy dies, which does happen a lot in Crucible, you do get some awesome uh, health regen, which great for every class. Uh, especially good, I feel though, for warlocks, just because they have like a huge regen already. Um, just given their base class and their armor pieces, that can get them almost up to ten, which you know that's really good regen. You could just duck behind cover for like two and a half seconds and be like way full on health especially when that harsh truth procs and then you get like a good health boost um you also get the when you're the last surviving member of a fire team you get an increased boost to weapon handling and reloads and all that stuff which is great for if you're doing competitive if you're doing trials not as good for quick play though um just because people tend to respawn a lot quicker so it's you get like a quarter of a second where that perk procs and you're like oh so, uh, all right it's already gone but while it is active, you can do some awesome clutches. You can absolutely kill a whole team. That takes some real skill, though. Something I will never have. But um, still, great gun, uh, even for someone who's not that great, like me. I can still reliably get a good amount of kills per match. That being said, I'm not going flawless on trials or anything with it. That's more of a Mita multi-tool, um, high-caliber rounds type of thing, which... I seem to mention more and more as this goes on. So that's that's fun. Anyway, yeah, it's a cool gun. Uh, did you see that awesome looking ornament? Ah, oh, it's all like dead looking and decrepit. It's all like, whoa, that's so cool. Yeti. That's awesome. But it also looks pretty good without the thing, uh, the, the ornament. Doesn't, it looks pretty good without the ornament. It's got that tape around it. It's got that gold gold looks fantastic uh, i'm not the biggest fan of its sight though i should point that out the dot and the circle just kind of messes with me i always prefer like a red dot sight um i love like the anti ods sights stuff like that every time i play like cod or something i'm always the guy with the red dot sight no holographic for me all right i want to see a tiny red dot and i want to put that on the enemy and i want to shoot and that's what this gun does with a kind of a weird sight that's beside the point overall great gun i'm not going to give it a number rating just because i don't believe in numbers um they're fake they're just made up nah it's just i don't like giving numbers to a gun i don't want to demoralize the gun i don't want the gun to feel bad it's a cool looking gun and it puts in work in pvp but it doesn't do as great in pve as other guns again it's consistent uh it's great reload speed even with a 50 round magazine. This has been an or gaming review of the Vigilance Wing. Hopefully you guys will like it. And if you do, uh, you know, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. 